here today announcing our X2 mode for our products, as well as our new six gigahertz offering. Our X2 mode enables us to finally realize our vision of offering a gigabit service, gigabit down, 500 up, on our current shipping product, as well as our new six gigahertz offering. When we first announced G1 a year ago, we had originally planned on offering 1.6 gigabits in aggregate, one down, 500 up, but we were doing that with two 40 megahertz carriers and using four MIMO streams. But the reality of four MIMO streams outdoors just wasn't happening. So we derated the product, launched an 800 megabit aggregate capability, and the engineers went back to work trying to figure out how to realize the full 1.6 that had been designed into the product. And they came up with a solution where they could actually now enable four carriers at 40 megahertz, so a full 160 megahertz wide, to finally get the 1.6 gigabit aggregate channel capacity. And now we're able to offer full gigabit service, gigabit down, 500 up, to our existing customers using our current product, as well as our new six gigahertz customers. The new X2 product does the same. Ranges are slightly lower because of the, uh, because of the reduced interference uh, cancellation capabilities, but you still get full gigabit capability line of sight out to five kilometers. You get gigabit capability near line of sight out to two or three kilometers. You still have quite a bit of range on the product in gigabit mode. So at Toronto, we've designed wireless as in-game broadband. From the ground up, we've designed a system that provides high capacity and high speeds. We have equipment that can connect up to 200 plus users at distance with gigabit speeds. And we've done this with designing an entire system. It's not a derivative of Wi-Fi. It's not a derivative of 3GPP. It's a clean sheet design that puts essentially a mini base station on the side of your house. So you have a very symmetrical link back to your base station and you can have these high speeds. And because of the technology we use and the, the incredible spatial awareness that our large antenna arrays give us, we can do all sorts of amazing things like interference cancellation and very accurate beam forming so we can get those speeds and distances.